Yo, what's good everybody? This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads and today I've hired this child actress here named Lena. Dad, I'm your actual daughter and my name's Layla. <laughs> okay, so this is actually my daughter. Her name is Layla. You guys might have seen her before in one of our previous videos. She was way too small to customize shoes. What's good everybody? This is Layla from Feel Good Threads. But today we're gonna collab. I'm gonna show you guys how to collab with your son, your daughter, a child, or anybody else, and we're gonna make a pair of Air Force Ones. So with that said, you ready to go, Layla? It's Layla, Dad. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> All right, guys, so first things first, we want to kind of plan out before we paint on our actual Air Force Ones. So before you guys just jump into painting an Air Force One, I do recommend preparing. Uh, today we've got some books by Da Vinci. Uh, coloring books here. We're gonna pull up the actual Air Force One today that we're gonna be working with and we're gonna practice painting it. Again, you don't have to do this. You could jump right onto the shoe, but it's always nicer to get a clean finish. So uh, pull up a book. First things first, we gotta just look for the actual Air Force One. I know it's in here. Let's see, Kobe, Dunks, Air Max. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Air Force One Lowe's. So usually they got two pages. Okay, now we got two cutouts. I'm gonna practice working on one, so we're gonna grab some uh, Posca paint markers. Um, you don't have to use Posca markers, we just had them and uh, they're fun to work with. So we're gonna paint in whatever we think would look cool on the Air Force Ones. We both decided that we're gonna be doing uh, like a chunky donkey style or an ice cream style yeah. uh, Air Force One custom today. So what we'll do is start painting in the swoosh and then you said you wanted to paint the bottom toe cap? Yeah, so my dad's gonna paint what he thinks I want, and I'm gonna paint what I want, and you guys should use any colors, like any color marker palette that you want. And which colors did you want to choose today? I wanted like a teal, Okay. a purple, a light pink, and a dark pink. Okay, that's a lot of colors, but all right, cool. I'm gonna try to grab similar colors to you and let's get to work. So just a heads up, a lot of you guys don't know because we're always using paints, but you can use these Posca markers not only on paper, but on a lot of different objects, including actual Air Force Ones. So if you wanted to paint your shoes with these, that's definitely a possibility too. Uh, you just gotta prep the area correctly and then get down to it, just like you would with paint. Apparently I lost a battle. Uh, this is, I did this for no reason. So <laughs> I'm gonna just put this to the side. Uh, she's wrapping up what she wants the actual shoe to look like. She's done with what the actual <laughs> shoe should look like. So we're gonna jump into the shoe next. Uh, what I do recommend is if you're gonna prepare the shoe, you probably wanna do that away from your son or daughter just because of the fumes and stuff and just to be safe. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep these shoes. Give me about five minutes, I'll be back. Uh, we're gonna jump into that next and then after that we're gonna start painting. There we go. All right guys, so these are prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna go grab Layla so we can start painting. These markers are a lot less messy than using actual paints, so I love using these guys. And then we're gonna seal them off afterwards with some LK sealer, and that'll make sure it protects the paint. So with that said, well, she's already jumped into it, so I'm behind. Be careful, okay. So tell your kid to be careful when they're when they're painting their end because they may get it on parts that need to be all white. You might wanna just mask off those parts before you start. What I've been working on right now is just the swoosh and you guys could see that it's pretty much done. And I'm just trying to get on the inside here and just what I'm doing here is poking on the inside crevice just to get that filled in, the swoosh filled in nicely, make it look clean, make it look like one big piece of ice cream drip coming off of it. And you can see here, <laughs> Layla had a little bit of difficulty, so I'm working on doing all the drips on the swooshes, and she's working on like the main body panels right now. All right guys, as we're waiting for the other sections to start to dry, I know the swoosh is ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and start 
making some sprinkles. The main thing to remember about the sprinkles is you want them to go every which way. They shouldn't be all the same direction. And then also, you wanna to try to keep them separated far enough from each other. So for example, let's just paint one sprinkle here. Then I'll grab another color here, like a blue, and we'll change the direction of the shoe. So then it's not in the same direction and we'll paint that one, say for example, like right here. On this part here, it's okay if you don't get it perfect because when we finish up, uh, we're gonna outline the sprinkles in black. So it'll kind of give more of a separation between the swoosh. So now I've got yellow, like an orange, I've got a blue. So just kind of mixing the colors up. Now let's go with like a lighter orange, for example. Uh, it's gonna give you the best effect and it, it gives a really nice finish at the end. See, look at that, Lena. You like that? Yeah, cool. When the sock liner gets paint on it, it's really difficult to reverse back that step. So I would just recommend you guys work on the parts that have any closeness to the sock line right there. We're gonna continue with this shoe here. Uh, what she wanted to do is just add a little bit more of a cartoony kind of a look. Uh, we're gonna show you next how easy and simple it is to add cartoon lines onto a shoe. Uh, one thing that Layla told me is she wanted to keep all of the colors looking kind of like sketchy looking like this. And I told her like, yo, that's not enough paint. It's not filling in and you can still see the white underneath. But she said she liked it like that. And believe it or not, when we ended up doing the cartoon shoe on the first one of these guys, it looks amazing. So I guess she was right the first time. And so we're gonna keep going with this shoe next. Anytime you see an edge or a corner, all we're gonna do is mark that edge or corner. So with that said, let's jump into it. Our goal is to try to get all of the edges. So if you see an edge that's curving around like this, if it's straight, if it's going horizontal, you wanna do the exact same shape. The great thing about Posca markers is if you mess up, you can always just grab the other Posca marker and paint over that mess up. They're extremely opaque and uh, that's great for these kind of projects so that way you don't have to worry so much. And right now I just finished outlining the dark pink area. What I like to do on the, the toe box area and, and all of the other lines is if you see a, a first thread line like this one here, I just like to paint up to that one line. That's kind of like your stop sign right there. Okay, that's exactly where you want it. And so I just keep going all the way across. Sometimes I like to move the shoe around too, just to get a little bit more precise. Makes it easier to color them in. All right guys, this is the conclusion of Layla's shoes with some Posca markers and some Sharpies. We kept things nice and clean. There was no mess at all. And also, special shout out to Dimitri Coloring Books, the original sneakerhead coloring book. You can get it from shopdogood.com and this is what my drawing looks like. Now let's see what it looks like on my feet. All right, guys, so we're out of here. I got this, Dad. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment of what you think of the video. And make sure you hit that notification bell. See you next time, guys. Bye. Peace.